Let's quickly go over the user interface for MakeCode Arcade. On the left, we have a display here. It looks like an old school uh, Game Boy. Your game, as you code it, will show up on here live, and you can use the controllers here, or on your keyboard or tablet, to control your game. At the bottom here, we have a set of tools. We can mute the audio, pause our game, find bugs, restart, or make it full screen. Over here, we can access the code blocks. They're color coordinated and this is very useful when giving instructions and trying to find certain code. In the middle here, we have our coding area. This is where we will drag and drop all of our blocks to build up our game logic. To save a game, we can select the save button at the bottom of the screen here. The first thing we need to do to start our game Par Defender is to create a background and a character. To create a background, we're going to go to the Scene tab and we're going to select Set Background Image. If you left click and drag, we can put this inside of our On Start event. To create a background image, left click and select the grey box inside of the code we just added. Make Code Arcade uses retro pixel art as its style. This is very, very handy as it's easy to create artwork for our games and through the restricted color palette, it is easier for us to just make any kind of art we can think of without getting too bogged down with too many tools. I'm going to create a very simple background. My game is set around a pa and I'm going to make sure there's a green background with an awa flowing through it, a creek, and some po to designate which is the player side of the game. To do that, I'm gonna first select the color green, select the paint icon here, and this will fill in the entire background. Next, I'm going to select the pen tool, highlight the color blue, and I'm just gonna start drawing the outlines of a flowing creek. Make sure when you're coloring in to leave no gaps as we're going to use the fill tool to quickly color in our creek. Now select the fill bucket tool, left click and select and it should fill in our creek. If you make any mistakes, you can use the undo button. Here I made a mistake and didn't cover the bottom, so that's a good reminder. Next, I'm going to draw some Po. This will designate which side of the screen our player will be on. When the ngangara have gone past, I know to take a life off or... Now it's time to draw the Po to designate which side of the screen our player is defending. Using our pixel tool, we can draw our pot. To make it easier to draw straight lines, you can use the line tool. There I have drawn my pot. You can take your time in this part to create something with more detail, but because we're using pixel art, we have a limited amount of pixels to create detail and definition. As the screen is small, the lower detail looks quite good. Now that we've created our background image, you can see that it has updated itself. Every time we make a change with our code, it will be reflected on the left side of the screen 